السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. friends welcome back to my channel. today I'm going to discuss 3.5 kilowatt power factor correction circuit. it is a reference design from Texas Instruments. it uses UCC 28180 PFC controller. it receives AC voltage filtration and after filtration it makes rectification. after rectification it will boost up the voltage using PFC circuit power factor correction circuit this circuit can also be designed for a boost follower option basically it is a requested video from one of my viewer he designed a PFC choke and he sent me this diagram and he asked me to explain the circuit on page number 22 so let's discuss with full load operating condition 190 volt to 270 volt it has 3.5 kilowatt power output at 390 volt and it can be used for room air conditioners industrial use for 480 watt and single phase ups and other major appliances using power factor correction circuit it will its uh, final design in this paper it describes here the specifications and how we can utilize this circuit here are key specifications for this circuit minimum voltage 85 volt to 274 270 volt ac working range frequency from 47 kilo, 47 hertz to 64 hertz input uvlo input under voltage lockout condition that is 80 volt at 80 volt this circuit will terminate its operation and maximum input current that is 20 ampere output voltage are 390 volt and 9 ampere 3500 watt or 3.5 kilowatt and maximum overload protection that is 470 volt in this design it will use 45 kilohertz switching frequency the boost converter efficiency that is 98.6 percent so let's see the circuit in the circuit description it says ucc 28180 pfc controller it is programmable frequency and it will drive the circuit and it have soft over current cycle by cycle peak current limit to protect the circuit over voltage protection vcc under voltage protection and open pin protection i sense and v sense pins then it have a low side driver ucc 25531d and here the system design theory all calculations are mentioned how every component is calculated i will share the link for this application note the reference design for this power factor controller circuit pfc circuit input voltage 156 volt rms to 265 volt rms 47 to 63 hertz output voltage 390 volt nominal maximum output power 300 3500 watts it have line neutral and earth in line it is using 30 ampere fuse here is varistor at high frequency high voltage this varistor will become short circuit and it, it will burn the fuse so it will open the circuit the next circuit will be protected from over voltage then we have b470 ptc here is a positive temperature coefficient resistance and here we have two points rlyp rlyn relay p relay n so these two points shown here are shown with this relay relay n relay p when this relay will turn on so it will close its points at that time it will bypass these two points it will bypass this ptc first the current have to pass from this ptc to protect the circuit from inrush current when we apply power the circuit is in off condition at that time the capacitors are empty 680 microfarad 300 three capacitors in parallel so they will draw excessive amount of current and it will cause a surge current surge to protect the cir circuit from the surge initial current will flow from this 470 ohm ptc and when the circuit will maintain a voltage at that time it will turn on this bypass relay and the current will pass through this bypass relay from this point to this point point directly then we have first stage filter and second stage filter to protect the circuit from differential mode noises through c1 2.2 microfarad and common mode noises from these two capacitors c89 c8 and c9 then we have this inductor this circuit this tuned network will protect the circuit from any high frequency spikes any noise 
to enter in the circuit because there is a high frequency switching 45 kilohertz switching so the circuit will free from any interruption from outside then we have second stage filter it is for more purification we can say here we have a barrier which will protect the circuit from external noises to enter in the circuit or these noises to return back in the power lines in this point we have two diodes d7 and d6 these are rectifying the voltage it is a full wave rectifier one diode is connected to neutral line and second diode is connected to phase so the rectified voltage will reach here at this point here we have a voltage divider network here we have a boost forward control circuit this boost for forward control circuit consists of this short key diode resistors capacitor transistor and this resistor here we have current limit resistor bypass circuit it is 0.2 second delay circuit so the voltage will reach at this voltage divider network and it will start charging this capacitor when it will charge this capacitor at that time when the voltage level will reach above 12 volt so this zener diode will allow part and we will receive a summing point at this and it is waiting for pfc on command when this pfc on command will arrive at that time it will allow this mosfet and it will turn on this relay so we will discuss later for this circuit we apply 12 volt or 15 volt at this connector 12 volt power supply is used for mosfet configuration if we are using mosfet at this point we will use 12 volt and if we use igbt for switching purpose that time we have to use 15 volt it is external biasing supply when we apply biasing voltage here this biasing voltage will reach at this point it is pfc shutdown circuit so bias voltage will reach at this point here we have a 3906 transistor it is now open here we have volt base biasing network there is a one switch to turn on this pfc when this switch will closed this voltage will reach at this point the bias voltage will reach at this point and it will enable this mosfet this mosfet will enabled it will apply ground to base biasing network to 3906 transistor and this transistor will switch and we will receive switch to voltage at vcc point at the same time we will receive this pfc on this command this signal will reach at this terminal and it will apply to this mosfet and this mosfet will switch it will apply ground to this relay here we applied bias voltage 12 or 15 volts so this relay will energize and it will make its contacts when it will make its contacts it will bypass this ptc and current will flow normal and anytime if you open this switch at that time this mosfet gate drive components will disabled so this mosfet will disabled and this transistor will cut off and the power supply vcc voltage will cut off vcc voltage now reached at this so when this ic will receive vcc voltage and ucc 27531 ic will receive vcc voltage so these two ic's will enabled because they will receive the biasing voltage pin one is ground pin seven is vcc supply pin two is compensation pin current compensation pin three is current sense resistor how much current is flowing in the circuit the amount of current and the product of this resistor and current value it will drop voltage and this voltage will apply to this current sense pin and this ic will sense current for every switching pulse and it will compensate the switching then we have frequency resistance resistance here it is 47k when frequency resistance is 47k its switching frequency will become 45 kilohertz then we have voltage compensation pin it is resistor capacitor network then we have voltage sense this v sense pin is a feedback from the output capacitor the circuit output is measured at this pin these three resistors to the vSense pin and it will apply to pin number six now come to this point boost follower control in the starting i discussed that this circuit can be designed as a boot boost follower or it can be used as a fixed voltage pfc what is the boost follower configuration 
the change in the line voltage will cause to relative change in the output we can say if this input will drop 100 volt so the pfc circuit will also drop 100 volt if it will increase the output will increase the output will relatively change with respect to the input voltage in that case we have to connect this vsense pin to this point for boost follower configuration populate r14 and q4 and set r9 as 21.5k to make it boost follower we will connect this resistor and we will connect this resistor and we will connect this pin at this point and the value of R9 will change 21.5k otherwise in fixed voltage condition this will remain 13k and we will not use Q4 and R14 and R5 will point 2 ohm for boost follower condition so this will become 0.2 ohm but for fixed voltage, fixed voltage, fixed output, boost PFC configuration, do not populate R14 and Q4 and set, RT, set R9 to 13K, do not populate R5. In that case, R5 will not used, it will just only remain 0.01. For fixed voltage configuration, Q4 will not used and we will receive feedback, voltage feedback at pin number 6. So this IC will start switching. When it will start switching, we will receive pulses, switching pulses at pin number 8. These switching pulses will apply to in A and in B of this low side gate driver IC. If we are using 531 low side driver, in that case we have to populate R5, R44 0 ohm jumper between pin 7 and 5. If we are using 5 to 4 A configuration, do not populate R44. In that case, we will not use R44. In low side driver 531 IC, the both MOSFET will switch together. Rectified voltage from the bridge are passing through this inductor and this diode to the capacitors. When this MOSFET will switch, a heavy current will pass through this inductor to the ground line. And here we have a shunt resistor that is 0.01 now. So this inductor will cause to generate a magnetic field in on time when this MOSFET driver will turn off in off period because it is switching at 45 kilohertz in off period these MOSFETs are off magnetic field will collapse when it will collapse it will induce voltage because collapsing magnetic magnetic field will cut its own winding and it will induce voltage in the winding so these induced voltage will become reverse in polarity to the applied voltage so here we have positive so this inductor this end will become negative this end will become positive so it will become a series source in the bridge rectifier for example we are taking 300 volt in the output of the bridge rectifier due to collapsing magnetic field we will receive 90 volt here 300 plus 90 so it will become 390 volt after passing this diodes it will charge this cable so this line will maintain this rail will maintain at 390 volt. so this feedback how much voltage are on the capacitor terminal these voltage are reaching back to, to this ic and it will monitor how much voltage are there on the capacitor if the voltage will drop it will increase its switching time when it will increase its switching time it will allow a more current to pass through this MOSFET to establish more magnetic field when the magnetic field will extra it will cause to generate extra voltage to maintain this capacitor if the voltage are getting high so it will decrease the switching time so that the less time less switching time will allowed to MOSFET and MOSFET will switch for a small time it will cause to decrease voltage at this DC rail so in every condition it have to maintain the voltage at this point current flowing through these shunt resistors will cause to drop voltage at this terminal and this current sense feedback will reach at this current sense pin so this power factor controller will maintain 
the switching and it will protect the circuit from overcurrent and if the voltage will drop below 80 volt in that case voltage divider network will decrease the voltage at this point if the voltage are decreased at that time this summing point will decrease so that the MOSFET will turn off and it will turn off this relay when this relay is off the current have to pass through this PTC when the relay was on the current was passing through these closed terminals now the contacts will open and current have to pass through this PTC so in the resultant the voltage and current will drop in this line and PFC circuit will turn off so friends I hope so this video is informative if it is informative give a thumb up if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa